Right, well what I thought I'd do today is combine the first few shots with the BSA, freshly rebuilt, oh my god what an epic, but never mind, with a bit of science, you know, science episode, where the caption says science and much hilarity ensues throughout the episode. Yes, well the science we're going to try is, we're going to try out various pellets, and what we're going to find out then, after running them over the crony, is do tight groups equate to narrow feet per second bands. Going to be interesting. Yeah, keen to find out. So we've got H N N Field Target Trophy, JSB Exact Diablo, Crossman Match, Webley VMAX, or VMX, whatever you want to call it, RWS Superdomes, Air Arms Diablo Field, Gamo TS-10 Long Distance Competition, and H and N Excite, which I've just found to be a really accurate, fun little pellet, really. I say fun because they're relatively cheap. So, as you know, I've got uh, a lot of dignity and self-respect, so you wouldn't catch me dead wearing a grubby, ill-fitting lab coat and safety specs while I do this episode. Let's put a few shots through the BSA. Let's see where she's grouping to start with. Then let's zero her, and uh, yeah, we'll then start the actual competition. Well, not competition, the science. Science in shoes. Oh, my shoulder's hurting already. Right, let's get the science underway. Some pretty good, good groups there, actually. Maybe I've been overly harsh on the uh, BSA. That and that is from the pellet actually exiting. So they're all there. The field target trophies did well, too. Right, swap out those targets. with the science.
Well, this quite clearly shows why pellet testing is necessary, doesn't it? Um, the gun clearly doesn't like either of those. So, let's keep going. Oh wow, that, wow, okay, yeah, well, <laughs> five, three, one hole, pellet testing, that's what we all need to do, pellet testing, just goes show, I'd, I'd written off this gun, and look what it can achieve with the right pellets, I mean, there we go. <laughs> what a muppet. There we go. Right. Last two groups, uh, then the science will be over. Science. Ah, now I see where the gamma pellets went. Up here. Uh, right, okay. Those gamma pellets are very tight fit in the bore. And, I mean, look at this skirt. You see this, like, hook of material on this? On it? I'm really hoping it's focusing. These are not good pellets. They're not well made. They're, uh, yeah, not good. Long distance competition. Uh, right, okay, yeah. That's, uh, I'm sorry, Gamo. No. But look at the H&N Excite. I mean, those pellets are so cheap, it's untrue. I'm going to be ordering some more of them from uh, JS Ramsbottom. Anyway, there we go. So as you saw while I was shooting the groups, I flashed up on the screen the uh, feet per second and the spread and what that equated to foot pound where I actually have the pellet weight available to me but uh, in terms of pellet testing just go show don't just go by the first set of pellets that you throw through the gun you have got to try I know it means spending money but you do need to try out different pellets and uh, see which one will suit it in the end but anyway I hope this video does help someone and I uh, hope you enjoyed the science 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 so fun well, I'm going to close it out now. So, final summing up on the BSA Lightning XLSE project. I have to admit, 
when I bought it, it was second hand, it was a nail. It had cheap Chinese scope, cheap Chinese mount. Really, I should have took that as like a tramp tattoo, really, shouldn't I? And known it wasn't really one to bring home to meet mum and dad. It was uh, one to have a bit of fun with and then move on. Okay, I've stuck at it. I've rebuilt it. It's got a brand new OE spring in there. It's, uh, as you saw, full trigger rebuild. I've got the longer trigger screw in there. I've, I've replaced the cocking linkage because it was broken. I've done a lot to this gun, more really than I should have done. But uh, at the end of it, I mean, look what the pellet testing has shown us. Yeah, some good groups, and I'm pleased with it. I was actually going to sell the gun. I'd arranged with someone to take it in Partex. So now I'm going to have the uh, awkward moment of telling Mrs. Vending, well, you know that rifle that I was not going to pay much for because it's going to be Partex? Yeah, I'm going to be buying it outright. <laughs> anyway, there we go. So, I hope you liked the episode. Hope you uh, found it interesting and useful. If you did, could you uh, drop me a like, a share, comment, and subscribe? I know most of you are watching YouTube now, signed out. If you could take a moment to sign in and subscribe, that would really help me out because otherwise I can't get to the 1,000 subscribers, I can't get to the 4,000 hours of views. YouTube then won't recognise me as a creator and I've got no access to funding. I don't really want to have corporate sponsorship, although you know there's some brands who I'm sure do sell all good stuff, because I don't want to lie to anybody, simple as that, and I wouldn't. So, there we go. Right, anyway, enough blathering on. Cheers, bye.